Hi there and welcome to the training video for your 10 T2 compact scrubber dryer. To start off, it's a front fill, the whole bottom half of the machine is the clean water side. Top half of the machine is the recovery side. Inside the recovery tank we've got a yellow debris tray that collects any rubbish that you've missed on your pre-sweep. We've also got a float cage. As the water rises within the tank, lifts up the two ball floats and it shuts off the vacuum. It doesn't shut the vacuum off completely, but you'll hear the tone of the vacuum water changing. Now to prevent loss of vacuum, it's important this lid seal is in good condition and it gets a good seat on the top. Any nicks or tears on it will reduce the suction you get down at the squeegee bar. On the front of the machine, we have the scrub head and the brush skirt. The brush skirt is a water container. Anything you've missed it on the pre sweep the bristles will collect it, saving it from going back to the back of the machine. We've also got your pad holder. For changing your pads, we have the centre lock. Once you take the pad off and turn it around. And then refit. Then refit the brush skirt. And for fitting the brush, we slide it under and on either side, and it's a wee half turn and it locates on. To take, take the brush off, again, a wee half turn and it pops out. On the inside of the machine, we have the maintenance free batteries. You guys don't have to touch anything in there. And when it's on charge, the wee leg stays down to vent the batteries. On the back of the machine, we've got your squeegee bar, which we'll put on in a second. We've got your discharge drain hose for emptying the recovery tank. And that's a twist off. Got two wee locking lugs here. If you're emptying the machine, don't just throw the hose onto the ground, there's a good chance these will break off and it won't let you seal the cap again. We've also got your suction hose. On the suction hose we have a water trap, so when we shut the vacuum off in this machine, any water that's left in the ribs of the hose will collect in here rather than running back onto your clean floor. Squeegee bar. <coughs> You've got four usable edges on your squeegee, squeegee blades. One, two, three, four. Let's you turn the blades upside down and back to front. This just mounts onto the vacuum machine here. And just give them a wee nip up. Don't need to over tighten them. And then your suction hose fits onto your squeegee bar. Just in here. Also on the back of the machine we've got a clear view pipe for your solution tank, it lets you see how much water is actually in the tank when you're using the machine. <coughs> and then we're ready for operation. So top half of the machine, we've got a key switch with your battery discharge indicator. When these lights start to drop off, when it gets down to the second last or to the last light, then it's ready to be put on charge. Your onboard charger is on the back of the machine here with your cable, you've got a metre and a half of cable and then when the charger's on charge it'll go from red, amber to green only take it off charge when it's at green Also on the back of the machine we've got a handle adjuster a height adjuster for the vertically challenged so to save any shoulder or back pain make sure the handle's at the right height for you for operating For operating the machine we've got a pedal for lowering the scrub head so it's a push down kick out that lowers the scrub head down and on top of the machine here we've got your vacuum lever. Your two pail levers, when you pull these levers, the brush starts to turn and it starts to displace water. Now if you come back right to the front of the machine, the water valve is here. So if it's turned all the way to the left hand side, that's maximum water flow. If it's turned all the way to the right, that's less water flow. We'll keep it mid-range just now for the purpose of the demo. 
So this is a brush assist machine, so when the brush starts to turn, it gently pulls the machine along. And we'll do a wee double scrub so you can see the amount of water we've got on the floor. Washed out the recovery tank, you take the squeegee bar off, check for wear, give it a wipe down, hook it back on the side, and that's it ready to go for the next operator. And that completes your operator training for the Tenant T2 Compact Scrubber Drive. 